Now that we are about a month into the new year, I thought it would be a great time to check in on those New Year's resolutions, those goals and intentions that we set at the end of December, beginning of January, and just see how they're going. If you're like a lot of people, you might be finding by this time that you're having trouble keeping up with those goals and resolutions that you set, or maybe they're not even off the ground. You're just having trouble getting started at all. And that's totally normal, but I wanna go through a few things that might be getting in the way of your success and ways that you can kind of modify or change your thinking about those goals and resolutions to help you follow through with them. The first thing that many of us tend to do is get really carried away in the vision for where you want the year to go. And it's a really important practice. It's a wonderful thing to think about where do I wanna be at the end of this year and then set a resolution around that. But the problem is that there's usually a discrepancy between where we are right now and where we wanna be at the end if we keep these resolutions up. For example, if one of our resolutions is to keep up a consistent gym routine and maybe ultimately you wanna be going five days out of the week. But right now you're maybe going once or twice or it's kind of all over the place depending on the week. It's no wonder you might have trouble going from wherever you are now to five days a week, which is what you want your end goal to be. So that's my first tip is to look at your resolution and really be honest in whether it's an appropriate first step or if that should be kind of treated as a long-term goal, maybe a year from now, six months, even three months, depending on how big it is. But oftentimes we get caught up in those lofty goals and then we end up feeling disappointed. We feel like we failed if we can't go into the new year just already keeping up those new habits. So if that resonates with you, then as I said, take your new year's resolution and treat that as a longer term goal and then kind of work backwards and break things down into behaviors and action steps that you can take maybe make a one month goal that will lead you to your three, six, one year goal. If you do want a whole video on how to set really good short-term goals, I do have one and I will link it in the cards up here. A second common trap that New Year's resolutions and beginning of the year goals tend to fall into is the wording is just too vague or you haven't really sat down and thought through the specifics. A perfect example, which, you know, is kind of more on the extreme end of being vague, but we do still hear it a lot. It's just, I'm going to be healthier this year, or maybe I will get in shape this year. That's fantastic. Yet, can we break it down further? What does that mean to you to be healthier? Where are you right now in your, you know, health habits? And where do you see yourself going? And when will you consider yourself successful in being healthier. What is your vision of like what your healthier version of yourself would be and what would they be doing? Just try to get as specific as you can. Really, there's no, I don't think you can get too specific. Um, of course, just keep flexibility in mind, but the better idea you have of what these kind of vague goals actually mean to you, the better chance you have of actually following through because you know what steps will help you get there. Maybe if you want to be healthier this year, to you that means just having any sort of movement in your day because you work a sedentary job. It could be walking, it could be lifting weights, it could be just doing a physical hobby, but just try to break it down as much as you can. We just can't expect ourselves to stick to a goal that we don't even really know what it means to us. If you are one of the many people who are a month into the new year or I don't know, however long into the new year and you're already feeling kind of stuck or like you're not even started with your goals, I want you to just let go of any guilt, any shame, any disappointment that you might have because every day, every week, every month is a new opportunity to just refine those goals and make it more likely that you can follow through with the behaviors that you've identified as being helpful for your intentions for the year. A third reason that you might be having a hard time sticking to your resolution or your goal for this year is that it didn't actually connect with you that much in the first place. Anytime that you're setting a goal, intention, resolution, work through a few questions with yourself or with somebody else. 
First, why is this important to you? What values does it connect to? And how do you see it fitting into your long-term goals or long-term vision for where you want to go? Maybe you saw this workout that was trending or this way of eating that's been kind of trending, one of the downfalls of social media, and you decided that your resolution is you're going to do that thing. But we're all so different and it's okay if you gave it a try or you never even did because maybe it just wasn't for you. Maybe it doesn't fit with your schedule. Maybe it doesn't fit with your lifestyle or your preferences. <laughs> I'm not going to set a goal or a resolution around using the treadmill. I don't care how popular the workouts are, but I just don't like the treadmill. So why would I do that? Even if I think that, you know, oh, I have this goal to lose weight and it might help me get there. There are plenty of other ways I promise you, you don't have to do something that you don't enjoy. Cut yourself some slack. Remember that goals are constantly evolving, changing, being modified. You have not failed. You do not have any reason to feel disappointed in yourself. I also want to just put it out there that New Year's resolutions are cool because I think you can go into a fresh year with a certain intention. And it's a nice, like, easy way to measure progress if you're setting like a year long goal but really do this anytime. <laughs> you can set a resolution every new season, every new month, um, and just make it a, the size of it appropriate for the time period that you're working with. We're all doing our best, and this is what I do every day. So if you're interested in working one-on-one -on, -one on your specific goals, getting you to where you wanna be by the end of the year, I'll leave a link below with some ways that we can be in touch. I'll see you next time.